Hello everyone, welcome to another very quick tutorial. Uh, we did a step progress bar um, prototype like probably the first or second tutorial in this channel and today I want to show you how you can actually quickly create a step progress bar um, using our UI library. So the first thing you need to do, you need to go to kotus.com and you will see that we have a front end section. In the front end section, when you click on it, we have this Kotus UI framework. And when I'm clicking on it, it basically uh, is a library or a framework for creating UI. Um, we are working on it and we are trying to get it better and better. It has how to use it and, you know, basically different types of things or UI elements that you can use uh, and easily add it to your website. And today specifically, I want to sort of pinpoint you towards this step progress bar. So when I click on it, it basically shows me uh, like a demo of how it looks like. You can obviously click on this and take a look at the code or even, you know, take a look at the code here. But let's build one together to see how we can quickly create such a thing. So the usage of it, it's very simple. You just need to copy this UI over here. So I'm just going to copy it. Going to kotus.com codenest, you can definitely, you know, paste it in your own, um, you know, HTML page. Um, so I'm going to paste this over here. And you can see it looks like something like this without any styles. Going back to uh, the UI docs for Kotus UI, I can go here in installation and then you can see it says how to use it. The first step is to include this CSS in your code. You can sort of copy this and put it in your header, in your HTML. In this case, I'm using Codenest uh, uh, editor and I'm clicking on this uh, gear icon over here, going to the CSS and add it as a new sort of CSS uh, library and save it over here. Also, next thing you need to do in order to use this library is to include the JavaScript. And we basically mentioned how to include it. You just add this script tag before the ending body tag of your application. In this case, since I'm using Codeness, I'm just going to copy the actual link to the JavaScript file going to the javascript here and paste it here this as well so if i save this and close this you already see that we have some sort of a look and feel of a progress bar the next step you want to do going back to the link to the step progress bar here you can see that it actually mentions that uh, it actually has two parts to it so the first part is the markup and the second part is actually this piece of javascript code uh, which acts as an API to this step progress bar. So if I go to the JavaScript and paste this, uh, you'll see that it gets initiated uh, with the, you know, sort of index that we want to be active in the beginning. And I can easily sort of style this by basically copying this piece of code. Uh, I cut it and then add a container uh, like that and then paste this code within that container. Going back to the CSS, I can style the container, probably adding some margin to it, like let's say 30 pixel. And then you will see that I already have this vertical step progress bar that is created right away for me. So I don't need to actually do anything. And changing these styles over here, like let's say four, it automatically tries to update that index if it is within uh, the index of this. So for example, here, if I say one, it actually says, okay, zero and one is already passed. If I say two, you can see that the step first, second and third already passed. And that's how you can enable sort of activating each of the steps in this step progress bar, right? So I can show you, for example, one thing, uh, imagine, you know, you kind of trigger changing the sort of steps in your application. Uh, I can just add a button over here and then add like go to next right and i what i can do coming back to the javascript i know i can create like a uh you know button or trigger whatever you want to call it and i do document.query selector 
and I know I have a button over there and then I can just add a click event handler or listener to it so button add event listener uh, on click and I do want to change the index whenever I click on it so I know that this is how uh, I can just you know activate this you can also go back to here and it actually uh, when you create the my step progress bar here using this uh, new method you can actually use this function to change the active index so I'm copying this going back here I can just click here and then change it to one uh, so now if I click on this you can see that it actually highlights not only the first one but the second uh, index which is in our code is one right and you can obviously try to create like an index here let's say let i equals to zero and use this i or maybe the better way is to call it step and then i just replace this with step and then originally the step is zero and then whenever i click on this button i increase the step by one so now you can see that whenever i click next it goes uh, to the second step then you know uh, i need to change this to step as well so next step second fourth and fifth as you can see and the cool power of this is that if you want to have a horizontal uh, you know um, step progress bar the only thing you need to do is find this CDT step progress bar class and then add a horizontal to it just like that and you can see that you can easily have like a horizontal step progress bar which actually follows that the same functionality as you can see so I hope you enjoyed this. Take a look at the Kotus UI library. There are a bunch of stuff that will be useful for you if you want to create any kind of web UI element. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this uh, video and subscribe to the, video, to, the, to the channel if you haven't. And I wish you a best day and night. See you next time. Goodbye.